evening, everybody. Well, it's not evening for me. It's turning into morning for me. But, try to get it before it gets too light. But, today is Thursday, June the 16th, 2022. And it's your blessed, thankful Thursday. Episode 6, ah, uh, not 6, 2, 67 or 8. I'm not too sure yet, but the correct number will be in the title. But today we're going to be, this evening we're going to be learning about Remember Your Swords. Beginning with Ephesians 6.17, our recommended reading is Hebrews 4.12. Our turning point is from Thomas Brooks, and the Bible reading is Psalms 62-68, through 68, the next seven chapters. So, so, if you're excited about this, we'll smash the like button. Comment what happened. What, what did you do today? Did anything happen out of the blue? It wasn't planned. And what was your reaction and result from it? So, but subscribe if you do. Turn on notifications. Share the video and channel with your family and friends, and help me reach a reasonable subscriber amount by episode 800 for my morning devos which is uh, 48 days away and get me to a hundred the goal of hitting a hundred by the end of summer which is 97 or 98 days away so I saw a number the other day said a hundred days till summer and that was like two days ago from where I'm sitting now so so today would be probably 98 days until the end of summer just started summer and it's uh, it's sure hot. We were sure hot one yesterday. I don't know how today's gonna go, but but I sure hope it was a good day. But before I go any further, I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna go ahead. And do I do it before the thing or do I do it after? I think I'm gonna do it after. Once I get once I get done with today's passage and get everything previewed for tomorrow, then I'm going to leave you with a hymn. One of my, I, brought, I found my hymn book that I had, was supposed to have in there. And whenever I would do a hymn in the Days of Praise portion, in my Days of Praise books, I would, I would want to have the book so I could look it up. But I could never find it when I wanted it. And I was looking for something else a couple of days ago, or a couple of nights ago, and found the, uh, some of the hymn book was laying there, but it was covered up, and I moved something, and there it was. So, but I'm going to start you off with, I'm going I'm to leave you with a hymn to go off into the evening with. The rest easy with a hymn. If it turns out pretty good, let me know if you want me to do it in the morning, or leave it, leave it at the night. The evening video. Oh, I can do it. In, I can do first thing in the morning before I even start. I'm just gonna see, see if somebody will respond to it. I mean, it'd be, it'd be just a cappella, but it'd be just some of the uh, favorite hymns that I can go through that book and I can click them off and I know the tune to is what the ones I'm gonna do. So, but let's get on. Let's get let's get on with this. So, remember your swords. Ephesians six seventeen says, "And take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God." <laughs> Got the. <laughs> Let's see. I don't see that one referenced anywhere. Let's go ahead and read Hebrews 4, verse 12. Get that one out of the way. Hebrews 4, 12, and I'll open right to it. It says, For the word of God is, is living and powerful and sharper than two, any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of the soul and spirit and all points 
all joints and marrow, and it is the center of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So in the New Testament times, a romp, a romp, Faya, R H O M P H A I A, was a large broadsword used for swinging or striking. A Macaria, M A C H A I R A, was a short dagger or saber used in close combat. So the sword of the spirit referred to by Paul in Ephesians 6.17 is the Macaria. If I'm butchering those words, I'm sorry. It's the best way I, I'm pronouncing it the best way I can. But those were also, also two words for word as in word of God. They, they're parallel. In a general way, the contrast between the two kinds of swords, Logos is a broad concept or reason of a lengthy discourse. A rima is the so logos is L O G O S. A rima R H E M A is a spoken utterance or specifically focused writing. So think of logos as the Bible and rima as a verse. So Greek scholar W. E. Vine contrasts the two words rima in Ephesians 6.17 and it doesn't refer to the whole Bible as such but but to the individual scripture for which the Spirit brings to our remembrance for use in time of need. So when we commit the Bible to memory we will always have a rema in mind that the Spirit can remind us uh, to defeat the attacks of the devil otherwise verse. And as you can see it's starting to lighten up Lighten up outside, because it is morning right now, for me. But it's still it'll be evening for you. So just think of it as going dark behind me instead of getting light. So by committing scripture to memory, you will always be the victor in spiritual battles. Remember to take your swords in the battle. So the taste turning point is from Thomas Brooks. He says the word of the Lord is. A sword to defend you. Short and sweet. <laughs> so that's all I have for you today. Coming up tomorrow. Let's see. Let me find it. Oh, I haven't flipped it. Okay. Coming up tomorrow. Your first. We're going to be back in the Dust series for the next three days. In the day. The, the morning Devos. So. Your episode 753 part 1, we're going to be, for your uh, beautiful Fast Friday, June the 17th, 2022, we're going to be in number 89 of the Dove series, talking about the necessary light, beginning with Acts 26, 18, from Henry M. Morris III. Our 753 part 2, we're going to be planted in God from Patricia Rayburn, derived from Jeremiah 17, 5 to 8. And that'd be 753 part 2. And then coming up tomorrow night in your, your next turning point video for Friday, June 17th, we're going to be talking about No Longer Hopeless, which should be episode 268. Or 269. Beginning with Ephesians 2 verse 1. And our recommended reading is Ephesians 2 verse 12. And then our turning point is from Edward Mote. M-O-T-E. And the Bible reading is the next. The next four chapters of the book of Psalms. 69 through 72. So, stay tuned for those. I'll get to those later. Tonight, for me, after this video airs, some, sometime later after this video airs tonight. So, of course, if you've seen this video, it's already aired. So, sometime later, I will get to the to tomorrow's videos. So, but, but before I 
close out, I'm going to leave you with a hymn. I found my hymn book that I had, and I'm going to, some of the, some of the hymns that I know the tune and everything to, it'll be just a cappella. But I, I'm going to leave you with a song, and please give me some positive feedback if it works. So, before I leave, before it gets too light behind me, wait a minute, let me get me, I swallow my drink. And ease my vo my vocal cords, but I'm. But I picked this book up. It's called Hymns of Grace, and it came from um a Christian organization. Gt and the website's gt gty dot org. Um. I don't know what company it came from, but all I know is that uh, there's a note there in the front of the book from John MacArthur. So, whatever uh, organization he he works with, that's where it came from. It was a free free publication. So, but I found one of the the first one. I there was a list of uh, alphabetical songs. And this was the first one that popped up, and so I'm gonna go with it. I'm just gonna go with the ones that I know and see how this one turns out. Just let me know in the comment section how you. And if you haven't hit the like button, save it for the end of the end of the tune, and then you hit the like button if you liked it. So I'd like to get for this part. If you haven't liked the video, like it, and I like to get about. 10 likes for this. If I get 10 likes, then they'll tell me to do do more. So. But, um. I know that's a low low light goal, but, hey. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking about doing these for my lives. If I can get my live to work, work right, I'll do a hymn during the live. And that way people, if they're watch, people are watching me, they'll listen to me and they can they can go ahead and hit the like. I can make a small like goal while I'm doing this. If you like it, hit the like. Give me about that many likes for that. So, and then see if it see if it works to do that way. But, but blessed assurance is the is the name of the song. And there's three there's three verses. I'm just gonna sing it, a cappella. So, it says blessed. <coughs> Wait a minute, let me get my tune. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Hair of salvation, purchase of God. Born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Per perfect submission. Perfect delight. Visions, <coughs> visions of rapture now burst on my sight. Angels descending, bring from above, echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, Praising my Savior all the day long. Last verse. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I am my Savior, happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above. Filled with His goodness, lost in His love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. 
This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Thank you. So if you like that, smash, hit me, get me 10 likes for that. 5 to 10 likes. So, But with that said, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trust in God and He'll keep you safe. And all you say new in 2022 and beyond. And until tomorrow, it's already begin, be, getting real light behind me, but but until tomorrow, God bless you, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.